this video, I'll be sharing with you five ways that you can make money online in Nigeria right now. My name is Edel. I'm super excited to have you in my channel. In this channel, I talk about how you can make money online, self-improvement, productivity, and immigration to Canada. So if you're interested in any of this topic, and even though you're not interested, I would like you to be a member of this family. All you need to do is to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you always know when I release a new video. So in today's video, I am super excited to share with you five very practical ways that you can make money online in Nigeria right now. So without wasting much of your time, I would like to get into number one. What if I told you that there are a lot of people who want to learn the language that you speak? What if I told you that there are so many people who desire that their children can learn the language that you currently speak? Now, I am a Nigerian and I grew up in Nigeria. I left Nigeria some couple of years ago. What I know from my household is everybody in my household knows how to speak Igbo because I am from the eastern part of Nigeria. So when I was five years old, I know how to speak Igbo when I was, you know, as little as three years old, I can remember, I can communicate fluently speaking Igbo with my siblings or with our neighbors who are also Igbos or with family friends who are Igbos. Have you had the opportunity to come in contact with children that return from abroad? If you have come in contact with such people, one thing that you observe is that either they only hear their mother tongue and they cannot communicate in their mother tongue effectively now this is a huge huge online opportunity for anyone to embrace from anywhere in the world right now now i live in canada and i've come in contact with friends and family and i've noticed this same trend among kids now don't come for us it's not as if we don't have the intention to teach our children how to speak our mother tongue. One of the, those serious threads that I see is the kids might hear what they are speaking, but unfortunately, most of them cannot make a full sentence out of, you know, their mother tongue. Now, this is a massive opportunity for anybody who knows how to speak Igbo or Yoruba or Igala or whatever dialect that you know how to speak. Now, is it that the parents are doing this intentionally? I don't think so. Are there parents who are willing to release to you money for you to coach their children or to teach their children their own, their own language? The fact is, yes. Am I willing to give you money to teach my children Igbo? My answer to you is yes. I will sincerely allow my children to speak Igbo the way that I was speaking it when I was that age, little. Now, you might ask me, how do you, do you go about it? Well, this, this is why I love Google. With Google, you can search everything online and you find out even contacts of people that you can reach out to. Now, I'm gonna give you one strategy. Now, if you wanna focus on North America, which is Canada, well, that is great. One way that you can even assess Communities, maybe Yoruba community, Igbo community, Igala community, Hausa community is going on Google to search simple, to put in simple keywords. For example, Igbo Association in Winnipeg, Igbo Association in Saskatchewan, Igbo Association in this. Now, when you when those pages come up, all you need to do is to contact. They, 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 most of them always have a website. All you need to do is send an email. Okay, I would like to coach, you know, just to, speak, to teach Igbo to few kids, if you guys might be interested. You might be surprised that even the person who received that email will want you to teach, you know, their child, their language. This is a massive opportunity that people are not talking about, people are neglecting, people don't even know about. What I notice among kids, you know, Nigerian kids is that most of them don't really know how to speak their mother tongue. And the truth is that it hurts their parents. Is it their fault? I don't really know what's going on. I don't know what is going on. But are there people willing to pay you to teach their kids? The answer is yes. Now, another way that you can, you know, get in contact with these people is by going on Facebook. 
there are so many diaspora groups in Facebook. There are so many diaspora groups. Winnipeg, type in Winnipeg, type in Manitoba, type in Saskatchewan, type in Toronto, type in whatever you want to type in. You know, if you're looking at in teaching Igbo, you can do this online from, with multiple families online. But another thing is I have to consider the time difference and all that. So, but if you can bring five to six kids together and teach them Igbo and the time works out for you, why not? Nowadays we have Zoom, we have Google Meet. In fact, for the past two months during this pandemic, my kids were at home and I couldn't believe it that these children were able to learn via Google Meet. So there is no excuse. This is a very, very good business that anybody can start making money right now. Number two on my list is <laughs> skill. I want you to just go to my you know, YouTube page and look at it. Just take a look at my YouTube page. <laughs> From my banner to my thumbnail, it sucks. Yes, I know it sucks. And the good thing is, if you know how to design a very beautiful, pretty thumbnail, so many people are dying. Listen to me. I have looked at my thumbnail and I've laughed at myself one million times. <laughs> I have looked at my thumbnail and I've laughed at myself even three million times. Last week, I had to go on Fiverr where I started to search, look for people that can help me make my thumbnail. So probably soon or very soon, you see that I've changed the thumbnail that I have. So there are so many people like me, which I believe, like I, I want, I'm wanting to take my YouTube channel seriously and I have to do these things because I understand a thumbnail and title are very important component of any YouTube video. Especially if you're starting out when you don't have subscribers. With thumbnail and titles, you can draw attention to people that are scrolling down, you know, over the um, homepage of YouTube. Now, like I said, over the last few weeks, I have been laughing at myself. Obviously, my thumbnail sucks. And I, I know, I know it sucks. But I don't know how to design. I'm not a design person. I don't even know how to do it. That is why you see it looking so scary and weird. So if you're someone who knows how to design things like thumbnail, if you know how to make things like YouTube banner, these simple things, there are a lot of people that I know like myself who will be willing to pay you, you know, just like I've paid someone to design thumbnail for my videos or for their videos. Now, this platform Fiverr is somewhere you can go and you know market your skills. There are so many things that you can market on Fiverr. For example, if you know how to create thumbnail, if you know how to create YouTube banner, if you know how to write content, if if you know digital marketing, there are several things you can do on Fiverr. I'm gonna leave the link to Viva in the, in the fat Viva in the description box below. So you go and check it out and go through the through the skills that people are you know displaying there and see what best works for you. You can go there and create your own profile and start selling the skills that you already have. Number three on my list is for bloggers and aspiring bloggers. There is these two platforms that I've used over the couple of years that have paid me money. If you're a blogger, um, you're in Nigeria and um, you have a website or you don't have a website, now this opportunity is for you. If you have a website good for you, you are one step ahead. But if you don't have a website, honestly, creating a website doesn't take as long as people think. Now, I've made a video already of how you can create a website step by step process. I'm going to link it somewhere here or there where you can go and watch, you know, and create your own blog. Now, one thing about creating a blog, in fact, that video explains a lot of things, which if you want to start blogging and making money today, you can start that today. Now, let me go on to the, <laughs> let me go on to this number three. Number three is two website that I have made money from. In fact, I made money from this website when I was not even serious. Now, as you can see, 
I have you know as you can see I'm just trying to you know be serious on my YouTube after some time and send it on my blog now but when I applied to this website I was shocked that these guys you know approved my application approved me for the job I actually thought I was dreaming now the first one paid me over 150 dollars and i think the other one paid me over 40 dollars note these people paid me in us dollar not in canadian dollar us dollar is a lot more is you know higher than canadian dollar so when i converted the money it was over 200 dollars which is really great so this is showing that they are not trying to you know give you this opportunity because you are quote unquote a serious blogger or you're one of these big blogs or you know no now for deal spots all you need to do is to create an account i'm going to leave the link to that website in the description box below so do well to check it out and for the second one which is get blocked i am also going to put the link below so you can you know check out the website all you need to do for both of them you need to create a profile but for get blocked you know they give you they give everybody opportunity that's one great thing about that website even though your domain authority is five there's opportunity for you if your domain authority is 10 there's opportunity for you if your domain authority is 20 there's opportunity for you and they create these tags according to those domain authority so when you put in your website in that um when you put in the, your website, because you have a place where you're gonna put in your website, it's gonna automatically give you your domain authority so you know what and what to apply for. Now, one big secret I'm gonna let out about that website is if you fall in, if you if you if you if you are okay with writing relationship posts, they approve that one like pure water. So if you are if you are if you are, if you if, you are, if if you have a section in your blog that talks about relationship. Just go and apply for all those relationship blog relationship posts. That's if you're interested though, and they will, honestly they will approve it for you. Now, the most interesting thing about this website is that they pay you as quick as possible. Like I've never seen this before. In a space of three days, once you've done your blog post, you send it, you send it in, send the link to the post to them, they go through it, and if everything is okay, within one to three days, you get your money. I mean it. I am very, very serious. So if you want to do that now, you have to just go down here, click that link and get go to the get block and go and apply right away. The secret is out. I'm telling you the secret now. The secret is out. We give easily to relationship posts, relationship posts, relationship posts. If you are okay with writing relationship posts, go and do that right now. They have a lot of posts in there. Now, they have other opportunities as well. And they pay in pounds, which is even more interesting. We know that pounds is, is higher than um, US dollar. So if I get money in pounds and convert it to Canadian dollars, you see me, I'll be dancing like this. <laughs> so go and try that out. If you're in Nigeria, you're looking for how to make money and you have a blog or you don't, even though if you, if you have a blog already, like I said, you are one step ahead. Even though you don't have a blog, you can start today. I have created how you can build your own blog. I'm going to link it here or here. Step by step. You don't need anything step by step. I have my sister in Nigeria who also applied to that website and she got approved. And she has made a lot of money from those people. So he goes straight to that website and, and apply. Now, number four on my list is <laughs> this one. I have to sit very well before I talk about it. I am a Nigerian and I live here in Canada. The truth is, I miss Nigeria, and that is just the basic truth. You see me, there are a lot of, a lot of Nigerian YouTubers that I watch on a day-to-day -day basis because I see the environment, I see, ah, it just makes me remember home. And the other thing that I used to compensate myself is, even though I'm not in Nigeria, but now I'm in Canada, it's kind of, you know, somehow, you know, soup condiments. When I say soup condiment, I mean things like crayfish, things like obono. 
things like egusi, things like onubu dried one. You see, oboroko even. I came to Canada. We bought a lot from from. In the thing. I don't know where my husband got that from. I don't know. We had some and it got finished and it was like as if my world ended. I had to, you know, start talking about Oboroko. I was talking about Oboroko. Anybody I say, I say I'm looking for Oboroko. It's not as if we cannot get Oboroko in Canada. But the truth is, it is way too, too, too expensive. Extreme, on the high. We have African stores here, but the prices are so ridiculous and high. So I teamed up with my friends and we imported oboroko. If you don't know what oboroko is, oboroko is dogfish. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'll be using oboroko all the while. <laughs> so we had to import oboroko, I mean, stockfish from Norway. So you can imagine, and that's a lot of money. We're like five people, we contributed $400. Like $400, uh, was it five? I think we were more than five because we bought a lot of bags. And I've had that stockfish and I smile at my stockfish because I can't make soup without stockfish. I'm sorry. I can't make soup without crayfish. I am an Igbo woman. I am married to an Anambra man. And if you're cooking Ofede, we see you at here in the shops, in the other supermarkets. But if I'm cooking Ofunibu, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, please help me now. How can I cook? Ofe onubu, that's bitter leaf soup without onubu in it. As I'm talking to you right now, my onubu is finished. It's as if my world has ended again. Even in this quarantine, I didn't get the opportunity to eat onubu. So I feel so sad. And I'm not the only one in this train. So you see what I'm talking about? And I'm not the only one who is crying for bitter leaf now in Canada. I have friends. I have Igbo friends we talk and you know, some of them reached out to me when are you bringing that Onubu? when are you bringing Onubu? When I, I, I said I don't know when I'm bringing Onubu the last time I brought Onubu when my husband traveled in 2018 he came back with lots and lots of Onubu which we've been using you know, for a very long time so this is a great opportunity there's so many people who are looking out for people who sell these things and who are interested to pay any amount of money to bring them in because we get them here but sometimes they're not what you want we make the very good one like that one that is still like you know i don't know how to explain it i don't know if you eat bitter leaf you know the bitter leaf that is bitter leaf do you understand i'm the kind of person who loves to cook with all those things like you have my crayfish in i don't use crayfish for rice and all that no but soup crayfish must be there if soup is not if crayfish is not in my soup it's just if i'm eating plain white rice I, I i don't i don't i don't like it that way so for me, as a person, I can spend any amount to make sure I have my Onubu. So if you're not selling all these things, you better start today. I'm giving you a market that is still lying low. You have to find out how you can ship Onubu. So when I'm talking to you, I want to buy Onubu from you. You tell me, okay, I have Onubu to sell. This is how I'm shipping it. This is the cost of shipping. Do you understand? And Probably maybe I'll get you more customers. Who knows? But the truth is, we are my boy Onubu is finished. My friend's Onubu is finished. Another woman's Onubu is finished. These are just people I interact with. There are a lot of Nigerians here. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is soup condiments. Soup condiments. Soup condiments are very, very lucrative, especially for people who live abroad. Because we have little competition, you know, and those that are here are taking advantage. And some people will, oh well, I can't spend that lot of money to buy, you know. But if we have somebody you can purchase from in Nigeria, in bulk, and then the person ships it here, my sister, my brother, online, you're gonna get a lot of customers. It's not only a new world, talk about dry fish. You see, a soup without dry fish and crayfish for me. The soup no never starts. Dry fish, cage fish, oboroko, stockfish. I mean, I don't know what kind of soup is that, but from, that's my own standard. So that is the thing. If you're making soup today, can you make it 
without it, can you make it without crayfish? Can you make it without stockfish? Can you make it without fish? Let me know. And there's one thing they say. They say that food is the way to a man's heart. <laughs> My brothers, I don't know if this one is true or lie. But hey, if I'm the kitchen cooking, I want to make, you know, after all the stress, I want to cook a very, you know, delicious, spun delicious, span delicious and a very sweet soup for my husband so that when he eats you know even if he's frowning he's not smiling you know <laughs> yeah life goes on number five on my list is content creation content creation listen i've tried to hire people from nigeria to create content for me i've even gone to, i've even gone to the extent of paying somebody money and the person went and copied copied verbatim from a website and sent to me and even with the advert <laughs> even with the advert you know the advertisement copied everything that Martin sent it to me and I was like come on I can see advert on this thing you sent to me did you what, what do you really do what the person told me come out up now see when it comes to business you have to be serious there are a lot of people who need these services. I'm giving you an example, like my, myself. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you really, really enjoyed this video, if you really, really enjoyed this video, I'd like you to give this video a hit thumbs up, share with your friends and family. You know, don't be stingy. Subscribe to my channel. Lots of content going to be coming out on how you can make money online from Nigeria. This is part one. So. This is part one of how you can make money online in Nigeria. Part one. Part two will be up next week. So please subscribe to this channel. See you guys in my next video. All right. I am signing out. Bye.